Welcome to Knowledge One, Lesson Eight. This story is called The Crowded Noisy House. Now, in this story, this also has a moral. And in it, I would like you to listen carefully to find out what the rabbi teaches a poor Jewish man. Okay? So again, listen to find out what the rabbi teaches a poor Jewish man. Once there was a poor Jewish man. The poor Jewish man went to speak with his rabbi. Rabbi, the man said, you must help me. My life is terrible. I live with my wife, our five children, and my mother-in-law. There is only one room for the eight of us. The children, they cry and fight. My wife, she screams a lot. My mother-in-law, she quetches about everything. It is crowded and noisy and horrible. I tell you honestly, Rabbi, I don't think it could be any worse. The rabbi rubbed his chin as he pondered or thought about the man's situation. My son, he said, if you will promise to do as I tell you, your life will get better. Will you promise? Well, yes, said the man. I promise. Tell me, said the rabbi, do you own any animals? Yes, said the man. Good, said the rabbi. Go home and take the goat into your house. Let it eat and sleep with you for a few days. The man was stunned. Take the goat into the house? The rabbi's advice sounded like a crazy idea. But everyone who knew the rabbi knew that he was a wise man. And so the poor man agreed to do what he said. He went home and led the goat into his house. Two days later, the man went back to the rabbi. Hoi vey, he said. I did as you said. I brought my goat into the house, but things are worse than before. The children, they cry and fight. My wife, she screams a lot. My mother-in-law, she quetches about everything. The goat, she butts us with her head and knocks the dishes off the shelves. Help me, Rabbi. I don't think it could be any worse. The rabbi sat quietly for a moment, and then he asked the man, Do you have any other animals? Yes, said the man. I have a cow. Good, said the rabbi. Go home and take the cow into your house. Let it eat and sleep with you for a few days. Again, the man did as he was told. He went home and led the cow into his house. And two days later, the man went back to see the rabbi. Oy vey, he moaned. I did as you said. I brought the cow into the house and things are even worse than before. The children, they cry and fight. My wife, she screams a lot. My mother-in-law, she quetches about everything. The goat, she butts us with her head and knocks the dishes off the shelves. The cow, she eats our clothing. The house is like a barn. We can't sleep for all of the bleating and mooing. Help me, Rabbi, I don't think it could get any worse. The rabbi was quiet for a long time, and then he asked, Do you have any other animals? Yes, said the man. Well, he was pausing, I, I, I have a goose. Perfect, said the rabbi. Go home and take the goose into your house. 
let it eat and sleep with you. Two days later, the man went back to the rabbi. He groaned. Things are worse than ever. The children, they cry and fight. My wife, she screams a lot. My mother-in-law, she quetches about everything. The goat, she butts us with her head and knocks the dishes off the shelves. The cow, she eats our clothing. The goose, he honks and poops on the floor. I tell you, Rabbi, it is wrong for a man to eat and sleep with animals. I don't think it could be any worse. My son, said the rabbi in a gentle voice, you are right. Go home and take the animals out of your house. You will find the answer. The next day, the man came running to the rabbi. Rabbi, he cried, his face beaming. You have made life sweet for me. Now that all the animals are outside, the house is so quiet. It's so roomy and so clean. How wonderful. <laughs>